Well, we come this morning to the last of John's dioramas in Revelation chapter 22, verses 1 through 6. Listen to God's word. Then the angel showed me the river of the water of life, bright as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb through the middle of the street of the city, also on either side of the river, the tree of life, with its twelve kinds of fruit, yielding its fruit each month. The leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. No longer will there be anything accursed, but the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it, and his servants will worship him. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads, and night will be no more. They will need no light of the lamp or the sun, for the Lord God will be their light, and they will reign forever and ever. Read the rest of this glorious chapter and count how many times the Lord promises that his return will be soon or that his coming is near, those kind of words, but several times in this chapter. But these promises were spoken 2,000 years ago and still he hasn't come back. In what sense can the passage of so much time and who knows how much more time we have left how can that be considered soon? I suppose we could play the word games. Well, soon, as compared to the billions of years of Earth's existence. Yeah, maybe. But I'm not convinced that the universe is billions of years old. Not even a million years old. But that's a discussion for another time. Maybe we'll get around to that discussion in a thousand years or so. Or we could reference that verse that says, With the Lord one day is as a thousand years, and a thousand years is as one day. So in God's sight, two thousand years is not really all that much. Well, that's fine for God, who lives outside of the existence and limitations of time. But we're not God. We still live but a breath, three score years and ten, or if by reason of strength, four score. We still live in this existence that is marked by the passage of time. By any measure that is meaningful for us mortal creatures with a short expiration date, 2,000 years is not soon. On the other hand, it is precisely because our existence is governed by the passage of time that we can say that the Lord is coming soon. Because our lifespan is so short, it is true that we will see the Lord soon, some of us sooner than we'd like to think. Whether we live that three score years and 10, 70 years, or 80 years, or 120, very soon we will be in the presence of the Lord. We will either go to him when we die, or he will come to us when he returns to this earth. Either way, my friend, it's going to be soon. I trust that you are not only ready for his coming, ready to see him face to face, but actually looking forward to it. The spirit and the bride say, come. The bride, that's all God's people. And let the one who hears, that's you, and let the one who hears say, come. Come.